Hello, I'm Timothy Jordan, and this is your update about all the cool developer news from Google in the last week. Speaking of weeks, it's just over five weeks until Google I.O. That's not really an update. I'm just excited. <laughs> okay, now for something really cool. Have you wanted to implement machine learning into your app, but didn't want to take the time to get the PhD? Well, Josh Gordon has a new video series for you. Machine Learning Recipes for New Developers. Click the link for the first episode and your introduction to machine learning. Cardboard is added again, and now there is an easy way for you to embed immersive content on Android, iOS, and the web with a VR view from the Cardboard SDK. And yes, you heard me right, a native Cardboard SDK is now available for iOS. Click through to the blog post for all the links. Learn how to use flexibility to your advantage with these tips from the Director of Business Development at Moby Systems, the company behind Office Suite, a successful mobile office solution for Android with a user base of over 200 million. This is the latest post from the Inside AdMob blog series featuring monetization tips straight from successful app developers. The 2016 Android Experiments I.O. Challenge is now ready for your code. The top three winners of this contest will receive a trip to this year's Google I.O. And the five runner-ups will get the new Nexus 6P. From now through April 13th, you can enter by submitting your experiments to the gallery. The Google Cloud Data Store is simplifying pricing, which will cut costs dramatically for most use cases. Cloud Data Store is a highly scalable NoSQL database for web and mobile applications. Along with a simpler pricing model, there'll be a more transparent method of calculating stored data in Cloud Data Store. See the blog post for all the details. Also new from the Google Cloud platform, you can now resize Google Cloud persistent disks without downtime. With this feature, persistent disk capacity planning becomes much simpler. It's as easy as a button click or a single API call, doesn't cause any downtime to Google Compute Engine instances, doesn't require snapshotting, and it applies to all persistent disks, including the recently announced 64 terabyte volumes. One last thing, if you missed any of the fun Google April Fool's jokes, take a look at Venture Beats Roundup, linked along with everything else in the description below. Remember to like this video and don't forget to subscribe. I'm Timothy Jordan, and I'll see you next week.